when we read on the topic here, it struck me to say longing for the divine. Who is longing for the divine? Us? Or the divine is longing for us? Which one? I didn't understand. Sufism, longing for the divine. Or the divine longing for his servant. Which one? Huh? Nasser? <laughs> if we are longing for him, why we didn't find him? Why we are not there? وَأَنَا أَقْرَبُ إِلَيْكُمْ مِنْ حَبْلِ الْوَرِيدِ I am more nearer to you than your jugular veins. So who is longing to whom? Are we nearer to him? He said, I'm more nearer to you than your jugular veins. I am more longing to you. I am reaching you. I am with you. You are not with me. You are not longing for you, me. I'm longing for you. When Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Allah sent Sayyidina Israel and Jibreel Alayhi Salam to call him for Akhirah. He gave him the choice if he stays in dunya or leave, to die or not. He said, no, Ya Rabbi, I'm longing for you, I'm going. Longing is not staying anymore back, behind. Longing is to give your heart to your Lord. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala longing for us. Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in a holy hadith, ما زال عبدي يتقرب إلي بالنوافل حتى أحبه. As long as my servant approaches me through voluntary worshipness, he's coming to me through voluntary worshipness. That is longing to me. Are we doing voluntary voluntary worshipness daily? Like listening to my to our mother, listening to our father. That is voluntary worshipness. Are we listening to our elders? Are we listening to the younger? Or we shout at them? Or we shout at the elder? Are we listening to, as Prophet ﷺ encouraged us to visit the homeless, to see, check the homeless? Are they live, uh, sleeping? Hungry or not hungry, checking the neighbors, are in good health or not, checking a sick person, smiling in the face of your brother or your sister. Are we doing these things or not? If we are doing these things, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying to Prophet and Prophet is saying to us, I will love you. As long as my servant approaches me through voluntary worshipness, I will love him or her. If Allah loves me or loves you or loves her or loves him, what will happen? He said, I will be his ears that he can hear with. I will be his eyes that he can see with. I will be his tongue that he can speak with. I will be his hand that he can sense with, that he can cure with. Then he can feel, people will feel happy with it. I will give him power to his leg to walk in my way. Oh, brothers and sisters, longing is not free. 
When you long to him, you do what he wants from you. When you do what he wants from you, he will give you what you cannot imagine. Spirituality and Sufism came with Prophet ﷺ. Prophet ﷺ brought Tasawwuf, but it was not called Tasawwuf. It was called purification of the self, Tazkiyatul Nafs. It was called Maqam al -Ihsan. And I think most of you, you know that. Why, well, if I have a, la a lamb here, sheep, I have a sheep here, standing here. I say this is a sheep. After one week, someone came, you say, this is a lamb. What's the difference? Sheep or lamb, same. Then one come later, he say, no, this is a ramp. So what is the difference? All have same name, uh, different names, but the reality is one. In the time of Prophet wasallam, the reality is there, but there is no name. They didn't call it a name because Prophet was giving it to Sahaba, to his companion with no name. His behaviors, his characters, his love to his Sahaba, to his companions. He doesn't need to say this is uh, Ihsan, Maqam al-Ihsan. He didn't need to say to them this is Maqam Tazkiyat al-Nafs. He didn't need to say this is Tasawwuf to purify the self. He didn't need to say that. So it was a reality without a name. Today everyone speaks about Tasawwuf after 9-11. When we were speaking about it long time ago, not me, all scholars in Islam, from after time of Prophet wasallam till today, till 9-11, sorry, till 9-11, everyone speaking about Tasawwuf, they tell him, oh, you are wrong. When 9-11 happened, everyone became Sufi. Suddenly, I've changed. I don't know how. They dipped them, might be, in water, and they told them, go Wahhabi, come Sufi. Sorry. I don't want to say this. Nasser. But in any case, it is a, 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 today it is a name without a reality. Everyone carries the name, but there is no practice. No one is practicing it. No one is trying to learn what is the song of. 